Hello, I'm at the Forspice Fritjes Center in Uppland Svensby outside Stockholm, Sweden. And I'm going to take a look at this uh, hobby, it's a 2022 model. It's, uh, this one is the Optima on tour. Here we have some storage. Let's cover that. And here is a, a bin. There are no window here in the door, but you have some hooks there for your clothes. Also, white screen here. You also have some extra working space here for the kitchen. Also here you can have some attachment. So this is uh, Hobby Optima on Tour T65 HKM, it's a Forsberg edition. Uh, it's a 2022 model, uh, manual gearbox, diesel, 140 horsepower. Uh, you can see it's six berth and you can travel six people in it. The total weight is 3650 uh, kilos. Uh, I don't see. It's 7 meter long, it's uh, 233 in width and 285 in height. I don't see any uh, weight of the vehicle. I would like to see what the payload are, but okay. And it has some uh, option through my heat and it's around 7000 euros. And uh, yeah, so there are some small options. So it has an option for around 11,000. The price for this one is uh, 759,000 uh, Swedish crowns. That's uh, roughly around 75,000 uh, euros. So this one is uh, based on uh, Citroën, but it's almost the same design and so on as uh, as uh, the Fiat. That's most common. If you have Rems blinds, both here on the front and the side windows. And above here we have a, a shelf. It goes all the way around with a with a ledge. We also have. A, a big skylight here, also with the lights. Here we have some cabinets. No, no, no shelves in the cabinet. Also here you can extend the table. Like that, so it will be easier access for the person sitting in this uh, sofa. Here. And here we have a <coughs> oops, a heavy, huge uh, wardrobe. Also with a shelf up here, also with a ledge. And down there, they have some uh, fuses. And here's um, the ladder uh, for the uh, drop down bed. Like that. And here you have a warning sign that says that you shouldn't have um, children under six years uh, sleeping in the 
a design sleeping in this uh, drop down bed. Here you also have um, a main socket and a 12 volt socket, and that's for a TV point. So, here, probably on this wall, you can have a, a TV or a screen. You also have like a, a shelf up here. And I also have a cabinet here with a timbre door here in the middle. Also, with ledges here on the shelves. We also have uh, yes two uh, two main uh, sockets there, and here's some access for that uh, storage where you could see on the open up on the other side. That was a really great solution. And you have a three burner home, and there's the sink. So with ledges here on the shelves. There's some more shelves also with ledges. And here's for the cutlery. With soft closing on that drawer. There's some more shelves and storage in this cabinet. And under the fridge here also some. And above the fridge is uh, another cabinet. And this is the uh, Dometic uh, fridge and freezer. And the great thing about this is you can open it both on the left and the right side. I also have some hooks here for your towels or clothes or anything. Maybe more clothes than towels. Some light in here. There's another cabinet. And here you can have some, like a shelf for your shampoo. Also here if you like. Here's maybe better for your towels to use this one. So I'm 178 centimeter tall or 5'10 and I think it's maybe 15 more centimeter to the ceiling I think. Just turn off the light. And here under the bunk bed, uh, that's access to the garage. As you can see here, it's a bank bed. But also here on the bank bed, you have this uh, warning sign that says you shouldn't have children under six years sleeping. Even though if you have this, you can add a touch up there, then it seems to most impossible to fall down. But anyway, you also have a window over there, also with blinds and fly screen. And up here, you also have a little shelf and also here you have a window on that bed but here you can see the bed and here's the door for the access to the uh, to the edge. I also have a light here. And here's the repair kit if you get a, a puncture. So, also as you can see, you have a bike rack on this one. 
see you can take, see, take a look on the other side. Okay, so here's the main hookup. And here's the toilet cap. So here's the gas cabinet for two bottles. Also here's the slider, you can pull this out when you're changing the bottles. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hopefully see, see you in another video. So thanks for this time, bye bye.